What's up guys, qhg 3 Austin here, and welcome back to part 5 of Let's Play The Walking Dead Season 1. Alright, so we're back outside the gate here. Let's that look at this trapped there, walker. Geez. How can you be sure? I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Yeah, so the trapped walker is unfortunately Lee's brother. That's sad. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? It's universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. I just hope the power is still on. You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? Got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. I wonder if my remotes could do that. That's actually really cool. I wonder if that's actually a real thing or if that's something they made up for the game. Awesome. Now to distract oh. this thing. How convenient that we got that axe back at the motor in. So we need to distract the walkers by making noise. So we need to pick up this brick and haul it over at the glass. Now we can head on over to Lee's brother. Be careful. Keep an eye out, will you? If you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah, I'm going to assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry we're not here. But knowing you to take care of them. Yeah, we have to do it. No, unfortunately, we have to get the head. No, not the neck. Not the neck, I said. Okay, I don't know what the hell. Oh, there you go. Come on, you should know by now that they need a head injury in order to die. There we go. Holy crap! Run!
Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. I've got the keys. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Okay, good. Now we can get the pills for Larry. Oh no. Shit. We gotta hurry. Time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. Right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can. Stay away from the windows. Okay. Panic time. Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Shut up, dog. Doug, <laughs> if we don't make it through this, you should know. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Are you sure? Shit. Oh shit! Okay then. Come on, Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I found something. Hey, it's his dad's cane. I'm gonna choose Carly because there's more character development on her. You don't. Nope. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Asshole.
So now we're at the motel. Hey, I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Find your friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try. And that is how Glenn ended up appearing in the comic Thank series. You. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Hey, about Clementine. Yeah? Earlier I said there's some stuff out there that might screw up a precious little girl like her. You did. Well, I still think that's true. But after what I saw today, I think between you taking care of her and her taking care of herself, you two are going to be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Okay. Um, let's see. Who's next to talk to? Oh, yeah. Carly. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do. Yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You picked me. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Okay. Next, we're gonna talk to Clementine. See how she's holding up with all of this. Super Dinosaur was toast, but you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. 
I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Here, let me go deal with this. Oh, man, Clementine, another thing. What do you want? You like my daughter? She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step on a line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. I'll break your big nose. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Except for the lights going out. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy. I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The walkers don't worry as much as the bears. Fuck that! Well, judging from that teaser trailer, it looks like we'll be meeting some new characters and having some more conflicts in the next episode. Uh, let's look at uh, the stats. So, we and 36% of players lied. Um, uh, of course, saving Duck. I can't believe... Uh, the minority of people chose Duck. I mean, yeah, he's annoying as hell, but he's a kid. You know, you save a kid when you're in that kind of situation. If it's a kid over an adult. I mean, come on. I thought that was common sense. 48% um, of players defended Kenny. I'm guessing that was when Larry wanted to kill off Duck because he thought he was bit. Um... 55% refused the gun, um, of course. I mean, I, I I don't know. Suicide, you know, like that. I mean, yeah, I mean, she was going to die anyway, but still. I, I don't I don't know. That That's kind of an iffy one. If people chose to give her the gun, I'd, I'd see that. And as for 76% of people choosing Carly to save over Doug... I think that's because she had more character development at the time than Doug did. 
So, you know, we knew more about her. We cared more about her than Doug. I think if it, if it had been the other way around and Doug had more character development at the time, we probably would have saved him instead. Uh, so, those are choices that are going to affect what comes up in the next episode and, you know, episodes going on. Again, there are, um... Five episodes total of the main game, and then there is 400 days, which is a bonus episode. So, th this Let's Play is going to be long. Um, I guess we'll let the credits go. So, th this really is a great game. I recorded um, all of episode one in one single day, in almost one sitting, a couple breaks here and there. But, um, I think that's probably how I'll do it with recording all the other episodes, is record an episode, you know, a day. Probably not, you know, days. I'll take breaks in between days, but when it comes to recording an episode, I'll probably record an episode in a whole day. We'll see how that goes. Maybe I won't. But episode one here was done all in one day, so that's a lot of recording for me, because usually... I record at the most three videos in a single day, so that was a lot for me. Anyways, uh, but yeah, this this game is very good. It got like 90 Game of the Year awards, I think. Um, I I definitely understand why. I mean, this is a great game. I haven't played uh season two, which is the sequel, but I've seen a let's play. So, I pretty much know what it is. I'll do I'll do that eventually, and I think they announced they're doing season three as well. So I'll probably do that when it comes out, also. And this game came out in 2012. That's amazing how time flies. Cause I got this game pretty much when it came out, I think. Okay, took us back to the start screen. Um, well, next time in part six, we'll be starting episode two, and we'll be seeing what goes on with Lee, Clementine, Kenny, all the others. Uh, we'll see where they're at. Uh, things didn't look good in that trailer that they showed for episode two. So we'll be seeing more about how that unfolds next time in part six. So... Thank you guys for watching part 5. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in part 6. So until then, peace out.